In this first part of the video series, Spring Boot meets Kubernetes, we shall see how to deploy a simple Spring Boot application onto Kubernetes. We will be using a Spring Boot CLI to quickly create Spring Boot projects. So let us download, extract and add the same to the path. Once we have added it to the path, we can verify the installation of the Spring Boot CLI using the command Spring Version. Let us now create a project called as Hello Boot with dependencies web and activator. To create the project, we use a command spring init, provide an artifact ID, name, group ID with dependencies and have the same extracted to the path called as hello boot. Once the project is created, we shall have the same imported into our IDE. Having imported the project into the IDE, it's time for us to add a simple REST controller. Let us create a new class called hello boot controller with a get resource on the path that am I which returns the host name from where it is served. To verify if the application works, let us now build and run the application. Once the application is booted, we shall do a simple curl onto the URL http localhost 8080 slash where am I and observe that the application says an hello from localhost. To deploy the application onto Kubernetes, we will be using a Maven plugin called as Fabricate Maven plugin to the project. To configure the Fabricate Maven plugin, we run a Maven goal called Setup on the plugin. Once the plugin is set up, we shall use the plugin's deploy goal to deploy the application onto Kubernetes. The simplest way to deploy the Spring Boot application onto Kubernetes is to have a Kubernetes cluster running locally. The Kubernetes cluster can be run locally using Minishift or Minikube. I will skip the installation of these tools and assume they are available locally. For this video, I will be using Minishift to deploy the application onto Kubernetes. For more details on these tools, please follow the links in the description section of the video. To deploy the application onto Kubernetes, we run the deploy goal of the Fabricate Maven plugin. You will see the Fabricate Maven plugin pulling the required Docker image to run the Spring Boot application. Since I am using Minishift, the plugin is smart enough to do an S2Y build of the Spring Boot application and deploy the same on OpenShift. Once the build is successful, let's monitor the status of the pods that is getting deployed via OpenShift Web Console. As we saw the application successfully deployed onto the OpenShift, it's time for us to verify if the application works. We can find the URL to access the application from OpenShift Web Console. Once we grab the URL, we run a simple curl command against the URL and we see the same response as our local run with the only difference being the host name corresponding to the Kubernetes pod. Thank you and hope you have enjoyed this small video on how to deploy Spring Boot application on Kubernetes. The next part of the series we shall see how to use Spring Cloud components and perform service discovery on Kubernetes. You can find the repository of the Allo Boot application and other useful links in the description section of the video.